Hey guys, it's Tom from Liftoff. Today I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to set up PowerShell to connect to Office 365. To start with, you need to use Internet Explorer to download this special version of PowerShell. We're going to log into admin.microsoft.com as a global administrator. And once the page loads, you're going to go to Admin Centers at the bottom left. You might have to click Show More and then Exchange. Once the Exchange Admin Center loads, you're going to scroll down and click Hybrid at the bottom left-hand corner. And then once the page loads, even if you don't have a hybrid, you're going to choose the bottom Configure button. This is going to download and want to install something. This is the Exchange Online module for PowerShell. Okay, now I'm going to close this and I'm going to open another browser tab and go to PowerShell liftoffonline.com. As a reminder, that's powershell.liftoffonline.com. This is going to bring up Microsoft's page for the online services sign-in assistant. Go ahead and download the version appropriate for your architecture. Most of the time it's 64-bit. And I've got to allow a pop-up here. I'm going to go ahead and run it and just accept all the defaults. Okay, now I'm going to close Internet Explorer. I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to open an elevated regular PowerShell. Let's say yes. Actually, I'm going to do two things here. So the first thing is set execution policy, set execution policy, remote signed. This is going to allow your computer to run remote, remotely signed code. I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to choose install dash module space ms online. Note that this install dash module requires that you're running Windows 10, Windows 2012 R2 or higher. And it may require that you download and install the latest version of PowerShell. I'm going to answer affirmatively to any prompts here while it installs the Microsoft Online PowerShell commandlets. So I had to answer affirmatively twice. And that should be it here. Now that's done, I'm going to go ahead and close this PowerShell. And now if I look in my Start menu, I have a new icon. There's also one on my desktop if I was showing icons called Microsoft Exchange PowerShell. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And this is it. So to connect, it tells you exactly what to do here. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. Connect XOP session space dash user principal name. And here I'm going to type in my user principal name for a global administrator and hit enter. Now it's going to prompt me to log in. If I have multi-factor authentication enabled, it'll prompt me for that as well. Now it's going to connect and it's going to download all of the Exchange-related PowerShell commandlets and connect to Office 365. If you're in the GCC High, the command is slightly different, and I'm going to show you that at the end. And also, these commands will be listed in the description. Okay, one more step here, it's kind of annoying, but there are certain commands that aren't available quite yet. So I'm going to show you, if I type get-mailbox, it's going to list all of my mailboxes in the cloud. Okay, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. But if I type get-msol user, and I want to list all my users whether or not they have a mailbox, it tells me that I must first call connect dash msol service. So basically if you're trying to do general Office 365 commands that aren't exchange specific, you're going to also need to run connect dash msol service. So I'm going to do that now. And unfortunately I have to log back in here. And again, if you have multi-factor authentication, it will prompt you for it. Now when I try get dash msol user, it works. So I can do MSOL, Microsoft Online commands, and I can do Exchange commands. And that's it. 
And just for your reference, here are the commands that you need to connect. Okay, so the top one is the one I mentioned, connect-xop session. No, there's two double S's in the middle of that. And then space dash user principal name, and then your username. And then to connect to Microsoft Online, it's connect-msol service. If you're in the GCC high, it's a little more complex. You need the connection URI and the Azure AD authorization endpoint. Okay, again, this information will be listed in the description below the video. Thanks a lot.